Um, God usually has me preach on the thing I most need to hear. And this week was uh, no different. Uh, this week I didn't feel like laughing because I realized that I needed to write you all a letter. So next week I plan to send out this letter and the letter is about two things. Okay, number one, I'm really excited to preach this new eight-week series of shorter non-expositional sermons. Okay, we'll do it for eight weeks. So these will be the topics. Hell, the elephant in the room, number one. This is starting September 8th. Number two, creation. Did God lose control of time? Number three, anthropology. Who is the Adam? Four, the fall, the doctrine of original ignorance. Number five, the judgment. There's only one. Number six, the atonement, the tree in the middle of the garden. Number seven, love and law, saved by free will, from free will, for free will. Number eight, eschatology, God is salvation, wins, and has always won. I'm excited about it because I think this is the foundation for really believing the simple gospel. That's simple, and that is that God is, uh, God is good and God wins. Uh, we'll begin that on September 8th. Next week, uh, Michael Heidel from Grand Junction, who's a pastor and comes here for church sometimes, is preaching. I'm really excited about what he's going to share. That's the first thing I need to write you about, and this is the second. Number two, as of mid-August, our cash balance here at the sanctuary is down to less than one month's operating expense. Last fall, I wrote you a letter, and like a ton of money came in. We gave the staff a cost of living increase, advanced several thousand dollars to our sister church down in the Philippines, and they bought a plot of land for a new church building. But since then, giving has slowed down. Didi sent out a letter a few months ago, it picked up. Then I said something in a sermon, it picked up some more. But we'll need that to continue, or we'll need to get real serious real soon about making cuts, moving, or maybe even shutting down. Number one, I think God has told me that we're not done yet, and by that, the sanctuary. By no means are you done. I think he's said that. I just don't know exactly what that, what that means. Number two, uh, if we were to move, we'd need to lease something else, like retail space, and we don't know how helpful that would be. Obviously, right now, we've got way more room than we need. Currently, our building costs are about 11 maybe 12% of our budget. So the building costs aren't that much because we have a $580,000 mortgage on this building, which you know is like a mortgage on a lot, of, a lot of houses. And it's a wonderful asset. And we don't know how much we could get for it, although we've asked for some estimates. We're set up to live stream here and to record. And that's important because by far, by far, by far, more people attend the sanctuary online than they do in person, and they attend in all sorts of places all around the world. We're hoping to host a conference here about 14 months from now and kind of already have it in the works. And so for several reasons, it would be rather painful to move, but, but I don't know exactly what God has for us. Number three, we could stay here and avoid cutting salaries and staff if giving increased on a consistent basis like it did in the last few months, if it just increased like, I don't know, maybe 10% or so. And so hopefully people online also hear that. That's why I'm saying this right, right now. But that's why this week I didn't feel like laughing. <laughs> Although I had already committed to preaching a sermon on laughter, and that just feels like the thing God would do to me. And this is why I feel like a fool. Because I can't seem to make things work. But if I ever thought that I could actually make things work, which I have at times, well, that's when I was really a fool. So this doesn't feel like a laughing matter, but that is exactly why this is a laughing matter. Anything that matters is a laughing matter, for by laughter is everything that's anything named, including the sanctuary. So I'm going to send out this letter about these two things. If you're on the mailing list, you'll get it. If you're not on the mailing list, you can get on the mailing list by going to the church website and signing up. I'm, I'm sending out a letter. Hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully it's what I just said. I'm going to send out the letter because um, I, want, I, I, want you, I want you to pay attention, but even more, I want you to laugh. I really mean that. I mean, I don't want you to stop laughing because you know that nothing is too hard for God. 
And because you know that God is making laughter for us. No matter what. No matter what happens to this institution or where we meet or where we don't meet. God is making laughter for us. And because it's only in laughter that we'll ever recognize who we truly are. Laughter is the distance between the Tower of Babel that people make and the New Jerusalem coming down. So this is all I'm asking. I'm not asking you to necessarily give more. I'm asking you to offer yourself to God in, in prayer and then uh, to be willing to do whatever he asks you to do and no matter what, don't stop laughing.